Hello everyone, so today we're going to be switching from my Gucci clutch to the YSL Sade. I'm also going to be giving you my hot take on the new Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch on-chain situation, so stick around. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're going to find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're going to find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if this is the kind of content you're into, which I mean, hello, why wouldn't it be? And give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, uh, it's a whole thing, like it's a vibe. So. Stick around, I promise we're gonna have some fun today. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did for you guys a get ready with me chit chat video where I switched from my Balenciaga work into my Prada nylon clutch for a flight and a lot of you reacted really well to it. So I'm thinking like, I'm gonna do that a lot more often. I'm thinking like maybe once or twice a month. So if that's something you're into, let me know down in the comments. If not, I mean, let me know, but it's probably happening, so. There's that. Anyway, so this week, this past week, for at least three days, I carried my Gucci, uh, oh, I don't know what it's called, clutch. Now they made this for the men's collection. I wanna say this was part of either a cruise or a resort. This particular one wasn't runway, but then they had a variation that was, and then they redid it again, but with the metal plaque on the front rather than the gold leaf stamp. Long story short, I don't know what it's called, so I will never do a review for you guys. I mean, I'll do a little one like today, but like not like a standalone video, just because I don't know what it's called and I can't be like, ooh, unknown Gucci clutch. Like no one's gonna click on that. Let's be honest, would you be into that? I don't know. Like I said, today is going to be very rambly. And oh, before we go any further, my new shirt, I know someone's gonna ask me down in the comments. It is from ASOS. And if it's still available, which I think it is, I'll link it down below for you because this is a vibe. I'm here for it. I mean, hello, puffy, Victorian, sad boy sleeves. I don't know. <laughs> Gucci. So this bag I purchased at the outlet. This was originally a full price bag, got deleted after a season, ended up at outlet. I wanna say I paid like 670 for it, which it's full calfskin leather, absolutely gorgeous gold hardware. And like I said, this is from the men's line. The bottom portion it is structured, so that way, I mean, it holds its shape. Like this is a good bag. I used it for a week, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I scratched that itch and go back in the closet, but it's never leaving. Anyway, love this bag. You have a slip pocket out here in the front, which is great for your phone. And the interior zipper just opens up to a moire lining. I don't know if you guys can see that, probably not, but I showed you anyway, you're welcome. Okay, you guys, I am one of the most boring people here on YouTube. I literally carry the same thing in every single bag. Now, why do I need 50 to 60 bags to carry the same things every day? I like excess and I'm not going to apologize for it. I like to keep it simple and just use the same things all the time. So what do we have in here? Well, if you watched my last Get Ready With Me video, you know exactly what's in here, but some of you are new and I actually have a piece of trash in here that I need to recycle. So, ooh, that's exciting. Anyway, let's get into it. Port Monet from Balenciaga. This holds my Bose headphones. I would love to upgrade to the Bang & Olufsen. So Zane, when you're back home, let's go shopping. I need new headphones. These are falling apart. We have the Prada six key holder in nylon. Pick this up at the outlet. Love the outlet. We love a good deal around here. We have my gum and for once it is nearly full. I'm only missing a row. So I'm happy about that. I'm here for it. We have my Versace sunglasses in the Chaotic Chanel sunglass case or for my eyeglasses. It's a long story. I've told it before. If you haven't heard it, Watch my last Get Ready With Me video, it's in there. I keep doing this a lot today. I think these sleeves are just making, giving me all the drama. Am I the villain? Am I the villain? <laughs> anyway, there it is again. Okay, each time I do this, take a shot of water if you can't have alcohol or, I don't know, your drink of choice. We have the Port Velour wallet in the Taiga Apicia Green. I remembered this time what wallet I had. We have my, what is that called? A vaccine card. Shiseido blotting papers. Why? Because I'm a little bit greasy and it's summertime, almost. It's like 80 some degrees here in Chicago land yesterday. <sighs> I don't know if I'm ready for that. I had the AC on, so then of course I'm too cold. Then I turned it off and I'm too hot. I just, I can't quite get the temperatures right. Anyway, and what else do we have? Oh, Chanel lip balm, which you guys, this is why I buy two tubes at a time because A, you can never find it when you need it. So I buy two and I'm already this far down on this one. And if you watched my come shop with me vlog in the Louis Vuitton haul, you'll know that I haven't had this for very long, maybe since January. That's, that is kind of a while. 
Anyway, watch the vlog, it's a vibe. I buy some cologne and a posh toilet, which we're gonna talk about today, because I have some opinions. I have some hot takes to share with you guys about this situation. If you haven't heard about it, where have you been? Anyway, we'll get into it. All right, so that is what we, oh, and my piece of trash. For some reason, even though I was carrying a completely different bag, my boarding pass from my American Airlines regional jet ended up in my new bag, so. Gotta get rid of that. All right, so that is the Gucci bag. It's a gorgeous size. It, I mean, it literally holds everything you need it to. I just don't know what it's called, so I can't do a full-on dedicated Gucci clutch video. But if there's anything you wanna know, I have talked about this bag a few times, so the information's out there. This is actually still at outlets, so. Well, I mean, it was a couple weeks ago when we were there, and I'm assuming that's probably close to the same price. I almost thought about buying the black version, but then I'm like, okay, Caleb, you haven't carried this in like a year. You have literally, I mean, here's one of them, 10 to 15, maybe even 20 black bags. Why do you need another black bag? This is the year of color. And with that in mind, I have for you guys next Sunday, a very exciting Givenchy unboxing. And this is literally my new favorite bag. I love this bag. It's a beautiful, bright color. Come back next Sunday. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. Okay, where were we? All right, so we've emptied this out. And again, I didn't need the black version. I have a ton of black bags. I wanna switch over to the YSL. Thank you, Gucci. You did a wonderful job. The YSL Sade Clutch in the black lambskin leather. This bag is absolutely stunning, you guys. I 100% am head over heels in love with it. It's lined in leather. As you can see, I don't know if you can or not, it's a black hole. There is a zipper pocket. I love how simple the logo is here on the front or technically the back side, but I'm a little flashy, so I carry it logo side out. I mean, why not? You paid a lot of money for it, Caleb, so you should. Thank you. Anyway, so this one, I can't remember what I paid. I, I remember it was like 17, 1800. I don't remember, it's, it, it was last summer. So if you haven't watched it yet, check out my luxury shopping in Chicago haul and vlog. It's um, one of the earlier videos, so it is a little bit cringe, but I'm wearing a super cute shirt from Zara in that video. And I didn't hate my hair in that one. So go and check it out. Link down below with all the others. Anyway, so for the same price of the YSL Sade, rather than having gorgeous Italian lambskin leather, why not go to LV and buy the new Posh Toilette? All right, you guys, I promised some hot takes. I didn't lie. I don't want anyone to be offended. Let's dive in. The tea is hot and I'm ready to serve it. So the Posh Toilette is a very polarizing accessory. I'm not gonna call it a bag yet because it hasn't released yet as a true bag. I'm gonna call it an accessory. So the Posh Toilette, as you know, comes in three main sizes. You have the 15, the 19, and the 26. I could be off by a centimeter or two on those. Zane, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. This has been a staple of LV for many years, decades at this point. And we all remember the lovely Lady Diana Spencer on Dodi Fayed's yacht. And she was carrying the 26 centimeter version under her arm with her bathing suit and her shorts. So I think that sparked the interest of using these as a clutch. Now I am 100% here for that because, you know, I'm all about, you know, living your life doing what you wanna do. I mean, fashion and style and all this nonsense is completely there to be played with. Like there shouldn't be any rules and, and you experiment with it. Fashion should be fun. I mean, look at me, I'm in a, I'm, I'm a see-through blouse with, with lacy sleeves. Have fun with fashion, that's what it's there for. Express yourself. However, don't add chains to things that don't need chains. I said it. I'm gonna leave it there. Mic drop, I'm walking away, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, if you wanna wear it with chains, go for it. So essentially the drama comes with the fact that people were taking the posh toilet. It was fine when you used it as a clutch, but then putting the Samorga organizer inside, adding the chain, Louis Vuitton caught wind. They found us out, you guys. Essentially, they took these off the shelves. I very narrowly didn't get my 15 centimeter. I've owned it before and I had to rebuy it. I didn't lose that one in a fire, but I did sell it, which was totally stupid of me. If I'd only held it out like five years, I could have like tripled my investment. Anyway, so Louis Vuitton caught wind of what we were doing and they said, ha we'll do you one better. We're gonna take it off the market, add a chain and increase the price threefold. And that's exactly what they did. Thank you, Louis Vuitton. So essentially what they have done is they've taken the size 26, they have made the ends and Vachetta. Why would you want Vachetta leather on a toiletry bag? Stupid. But is it still a toiletry bag anymore? Hold that thought. We're going to get there in a minute. Now they have the Vachetta things on the sides, the, the panels on the sides. They have the ring holders for the chain that it comes with. There's also a size 15 that accompanies this item. However, the 15, a lot of people were complaining about the new zipper pull. Quite frankly, I think it's genius. 
Let me tell you why. So you have the posh toilet here, right? Pretty simple, not much to it. What I truly hate about this bag, this, this, this accessory, if you will, is when you go to open it up, the panels up at the top hide the zipper pull inside. So you literally have to put your finger in and scrape it up. Of course, I'm demonstrating it way more difficult than it actually is. Like it really is just kind of like a flip thing and you know, do, do your thing. But it is inconvenient. And I like the idea of the Vachetta pull at the end because it kind of keeps it up above, as you can see in the picture, keeps it up above the track on the sides. Brilliant. Why it took 20, 30 years and a redesign to come up with that idea? Beyond me, I will never know. It's amazing. So you get two for one now. Now, with the larger pochette, like I said, you have the Vachetta things on the sides, you have the D-rings, comes with the chain, comes with the little guy. The interior is now, I think it's lined in the Armagnac leather. I'd have to look again, but it does have card slots inside. So they have essentially taken what was a very useful SLG and turned it into a full-on bag for the handsome sum of 1,760 USD. Or you could have bought this and it's made of lambskin. However, in euros, I think it comes out to 1,300 even. <sighs> a lot of money. The new bag is coming out on June 17th. I was reading up on this and a lot of people were joking that the Posh Toilet 15 is a gift with purchase and that made me chuckle. I got a, I got a laugh out of that, so thank you. However, I don't know why you would want a second pouch to put in the other pouch. It, I'm a little over pouches and pouches and pouches. Like, is that bad? Should I say that? I don't know, but that's how I feel. And this is my channel. The bag, it's coming out, like I said, June 17th, priced way too high for what it is, especially when you could have gotten them for, I don't know what they were originally going for, maybe six, $700. I haven't paid attention. Get your Samorga organizer and like a no-name chain and, and you have a bag for like, what, 900, 1,000 maybe. So it's a little insane. Personally, I, I, I do have a bit of a gripe. I think that the adding chains to things and making them bags has gone a little far. I said what I said. The, the point of reference that I, I wanna point out is the Posh Marley GM, the, the Marley clutch that I have in my collection. It's vintage, it's gorgeous. I recently saw someone add a D-ring to the opposite side of the hand strap so that way you could tie a chain over it or a strap. And I'm literally thinking that you could have just bought a Trocadero that had a strap. You could have bought the, oh, I don't know, Marley crossbody or the shoulder bag that had a strap. So I think that while it is fun to, you know, make something that's not into a, a bag, there comes a point where it's too much. That's my two cents. Don't hate me, I said what I said, it's my opinion. Let's move into the Sade. What am I gonna be taking with me? Well, if you weren't here for the beginning, let me show you what I took out of the other bag because it's gonna go into this one. Speaking of the toiletries bag, let me put some of my things in here. So what do I carry in this, you ask? Vaccine card. You just never know if you're going to be at a restaurant, at an event, at, you know, wherever, and they need to see it. So just have it on your person. It's the smart thing to do. You'll need your, well, I, I don't know about you, but frankly, I have oily skin, so I will need this. Usually uh, after lunch with my afternoon coffee, I do this at the same time. Chanel lip balm which I'll need to break out my second package here soon. So we have all this organized, that way it's not rolling around inside of our gorgeous Sade clutch. And I really don't carry this bag enough, it's beautiful. Let's see, I'm not going to use the Port Valores anymore. I want to switch over to the Monogram Brazzo wallet. Okay, so real talk. Before I get into this, I've asked before, but it's been a minute since I've bought a YSL item, which is changing very soon, here in about a week or two. Another unboxing coming soon, I'm so bad. Anyway, does YSL make a, a wallet like this where it's like a like a yen wallet, you know, you just open it up, buy fold, you've got all your cards at a glance. Does YSL or has YSL ever, like I'm, I'm open to buying pre-owned, I just wanna buy this in black leather, preferably with gold hardware or blue with gold hardware to match my beautiful Muse 2. Anyway, let's slide this bad boy on in. And I know my cards aren't in here, I'm going to switch my wallets after I get off filming, so that way you all don't steal my credit card numbers. I'm watching you. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> aren't you glad you clicked on this video? I am, thank you. Let's slide our Versace sunglasses in. Ooh, those, oh. They fit, this bag is so roomy, I love it. Our keys, we'll need those. I'm gonna have to make a big decision. Do I want gum or do I want sunglasses? I will sacrifice good breath because I'll be wearing a mask anyway, and I will stick to my, my sunglasses because it's getting sunnier out, as you can see. Port Monet from Balenciaga with the headphones, and that's all there is to it, folks. I do this every Sunday. Actually, I, I've been trying to switch my bags daily. Is that working for me? Kind of, sort of. If I really like a bag, I end up staying in it for nearly the full week. Other times, I just don't know what to switch to the next day. It is what it is. What can you do? The Sade clutch. All so, right, so to recap, what did we learn today? <laughs> 
again, not much. So long story short, you know, if putting chains on something and turning it into a bag is what makes you happy, then do it. Don't let my opinion or Louis Vuitton stand in your way from your ultimate happiness. However, if that's not something you enjoy and you want to buy the new item, keep in mind June 17th, it's going to be priced at $17.60 USD. You're going to get the large posh toilet, the small posh toilet, and a chain. So this week I will be using my Sade clutch for a few days and then switching over to my gorgeous Givenchy. That unboxing is coming on Sunday. And until then, I hope you all have a wonderful week and stay safe, have fun. Hopefully LV stops stealing all the good DIY ideas. Anyway, Thank you all so much for joining me on another rambly get ready with me video and I'll see you all on Sunday. Have a good week you guys. Bye bye.